Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. Rockingham County COVID-19 update. 22 residents have now died, 26 hospitalized, 761 recovered, and 360 at home and recovering. The latest numbers at Rockingham County Nursing Homes. Jacobs Creek Nursing and Rehab Center, Madison, reports 116 total cases, 75 residents, 41 staff, one death. Bryan Center Health and Rehabilitation, Eden, 35 total cases, 26 residents, 9 staff, 1 death. UNC Rockingham Rehabilitation and Health Nursing Home, 2 total cases, all staff. Data from the NC Department of Health and Human Services. As soon as this was posted on our Facebook page, people began to question its accuracy. One comment, these numbers are totally wrong for one of these places for sure. Another said, I call BS. There was a personal comment about a family member who died. Another response, one facility, according to several sources, Jacobs Creek, recently sent patients to other locations in Raleigh and Charlotte, where some died. So the numbers are reflected in those counties, not Rockingham. Someone else disagreed with that. The death reports go back to the county where they lived. One person said the case numbers are wrong, not just deaths. I work at one of the facilities, so I know. One more, a direct quote. I've seen a news outlet report 11 deaths at the Bryan Center alone. A takeaway from all of this, there are many discrepancies in what's being reported and what's factual. A Reedsville man wanted in connection with a weekend shooting is in jail. Mario Rashawn Davis, 35, turned himself in at the Rockingham County Detention Center. He's charged with attempted first-degree murder and assault with a deadly weapon, $150,000 secured bond. The shooting occurred Saturday morning in the 900 block of Windermere Court in Reedsville. The victim was shot multiple times and remains hospitalized, condition upgraded from critical to serious. A national company that recently located in Eden is having a grand opening and Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting one week from today. Night Owl National Stoneworks is on East Meadow Road in the former Kmart building. The event is Thursday, October 1st at 11 o'clock. The public can tour the fabrication center between 10 and 3. The 8th annual Reach the Peaks Challenge begins tomorrow at Hanging Rock State Park. This year, it's a three-day event meeting pandemic and social distancing guidelines. Destination Magazine calls it the premier hiking and trail running challenge in North Carolina. Proceeds benefit arts programs in Stokes County Schools. Reach the Peaks features a strenuous 11-mile world-class trail route through the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. 400 people have already signed up, 100 Friday and Sunday, 200 Saturday, with about 10 states represented. It takes place rain or shine. Get more information at the Stokes County Arts Council Facebook page. Eddie McGee, director, says the weather is going to be ideal. Rockingham County 911 received 122 calls overnight, mostly routine, a cooking fire at 121 Shagbark Drive off Highway 158. One person had a respiratory issue due to heavy smoke but was not transported. Shopping locally is always a great idea. It's a win-win for everyone when we support our local businesses. Lane's is local. Lane's Family Pharmacy on Highway 14 in Eden. Keith and Kevin Lane, your friends and neighbors are there. Hometown folks. Lane's delivers locally, countywide. Call 336 627 Four six zero zero. Any time, day or night, get prescription refills using their convenient automated service, or speak with a pharmacist personally, or member of the staff during regular hours. The number again: three three six 
627-4600. And reminder, Lane's has a complete selection of durable home medical equipment and supplies. Shop local, shop Lane's, NC14 Eden. Hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Now, Rockingham County weather. Today, a 50% chance of late-day showers, high 69, low 57, rain tonight. Tomorrow, 100% chance of rain, high 65. For the weekend, mostly sunny, high in the upper 70s to near 80. Monday and Tuesday, a 40% chance of scattered showers. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera, sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away, 24 hours a day, at this number, 336-932-7478. Now let's check on the community calendar. Announcements are made free. Western Rockingham Chamber of Commerce Ribbon Cutting at Bluestone Ivy, 124 East Murphy Street, downtown Madison, Saturday at 11. This new shop features clothing, gifts, home decor, and accessories. drive through cookout at the Madison Police Department on Carter Street, Saturday, 11 to 2. Free hot dog, chips, and drink. Sponsored by Madison Med Inn and Stoneville Police Departments. Donations benefit Shop with a Cop. Annual Sandy Ridge Elementary School Bluegrass Festival at Dominion Valley Park in Stewart. I'm looking forward to this Saturday starting at 4 with Alan Bybee in Grasstown and the Churchman. Annual Barry Joyce Kicking Cancer Challenge at Deep Springs Country Club Stoneville Monday, September 28th. Registration 9.30, shotgun start 11, dinner at 5, tournament prizes 5.30. Back the Blue Rally in downtown Madison at the West Murphy Street Municipal Parking Lot. A peaceful support for law enforcement. Sunday, October 4th from 2 to 4. Friends of Eden Animal Rescue will be having a charity golf tournament at Oak Hills Golf and Event Center Saturday, October 3rd. At one, fifty-five dollars per person, two hundred dollars foursome. I'll be glad to list an event for you. Just text it to three three six nine three two eighteen eighty one or email Rockingham County NC at gmail dot com. I'll also find the community calendar at MikeMore dot media and shop Rockingham County dot com. Now today's consumer report. The Sizzler Steakhouse chain has filed for bankruptcy, saying the coronavirus pandemic was devastating to its business. It also said the takeout model didn't work since its salad bar is a major profit center. The filing does not affect the 90 franchised restaurants. Health officials at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say children should probably not go door-to-door trick-or-treating this Halloween. They also say indoor Halloween parties are not a good idea either. Health officials are concerned because of the recent spike in cases across the country. Another federal judge has ruled that the U.S. Postal Service must prioritize election mail in order to ensure that ballots are delivered in time to be counted on November 3rd. A New York judge said the Postal Service must make changes to bolster Americans' confidence in the mail-in voting system. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Let's take a look back. Today in history, September 24th, 1869, thousands of businessmen were financially ruined after a panic on Wall Street when several men attempted to corner the gold market. 1934, Babe Ruth played his last game as a New York Yankee. 1957, the Brooklyn Dodgers played their last game at Ebbets Field. In TV Land, 1968, 60 Minutes premiered on CBS. 1977, The Love Boat debuted on ABC. Few big name birthdays Joe Green, 75, Jessica Lucas, 36, Victoria Pendleton, 41, Steve Whitmire, 62, Brad Bird, 64. We're glad to announce birthdays 
locally. Use that same number to text us, 336-932-1881. I'll be glad to announce them. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health. We're with you, conehealth.com. And by All About Floors, Good Smiles, Carolina Fuels, Vernon Family Dairy, Fair Funeral Home, Rise Up Reedsville, Shop Rockingham County. We'll finish with our motivational moment. Should you ever find yourself the victim of other people's bitterness, jealousy, lies, and insecurities, don't get mad. Remember, things could be worse. You could be them. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great Thursday, friends. And remember to count your blessings.